Hi, you may or may not have come across Fiori apps before, but either way, I bet you didn't know how easy it is to use DVW Analytics software to extract data from those apps directly into Alteryx. Give me a couple of minutes of your time and I'll show you how. What you see now is the Fiori homepage, which is standard to SAP HANA system. So I can choose a Fiori app that I'm interested in, so supplier invoice lists say, and run that app within the console. Obviously I can filter as with other reports, um, here a company code in year, and I receive back my results. Now you can see if I look about this, then this app has a particular ID. And if I go across to the Fiori apps reference library, I can search for that. You can see there are thousands of apps here. So if I search for this particular one, I can then get the details about it. Behind the app is an OData service. And it's this that I use to connect to my data set from within Alteryx using the DVW analytics tools. We start in Alteryx by connecting to our system. This is my HANA system. I check that I can connect and then add in an OData tool. I search for the OData service that I'm interested in. That's the one I found just now. And what's returned is a list of available OData services in that area. The middle one here with supplier invoices list is obviously the one, and when I select it, I then get the metadata of that service and can choose from the fields there. What's more, I can filter on any of those fields. So if I choose, I can select a particular year or even select a company code from a list which is brought back from the SAP system. Once that's done, I just need to add a standard Alteryx browse tool and run the workflow. And quickly we pull back the relative data, obviously in the correct year and company code. But what's great is we can extend that. We can make it much more dynamic using Alteryx to inject filters. So the easiest way to show that is to copy a filter that we already have, which you can see here year is equal to 2020. If I copy that several times, as many as I wish, three in this case, but could be 300, it doesn't matter. We can inject these different filters, 2021, 2022, into the tool. The tool understands that this is a dynamic input and you can add as many filters as you want in this way. When you run the workflow this time, it runs for all three values and combines the data sets. So you can see this is a really efficient and dynamic way to pull data from virtually any business area within an s hana system. And that's whether it's on-premise, in the cloud, public or private. Hopefully this has helped pique your interest. And if you want to see more, then come to our website at dvwanalytics.com. Thank you.